Hey y'all, Emily Bowie here. Thanks for stopping by for another video. This is part two of our mixing a song from start to finish video series. And if you are just now joining us, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell that's next to it. That way you'll know each time a new part comes out. So we left off here with kind of getting everything set up, uh, going over the mix template a little bit and kind of uh, my getting started process. And the last things that we talked about was just seeing what our foundation tracks were and that's kind of what I'm gonna be listening to right now. And while we do that, I am going to be kind of tweaking the uh, stereo bus over here. Now these are the plugins that I will have on my mix template. Um, I did add a couple of new things here from the last video because I just purchased it and that is the UAD Ampex ATR 102 this uh, tape machine plug-in emulation here and there's a lot of things you can do with this um, you can have it as your saturation uh, tape machine here and you can also add some pretty cool effects uh, i'm not sure that we're going to use this for that in this video but it does come with a lot of different features and for this we're just going to kind of be playing around mostly with this and these knobs up here kind of our ins and outs of the tape machine but anyways let's start mixing i probably won't be talking too much during this um, this is just more of a process that I go through and I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't heard the song in a couple of years, but i um, just going to kind of see what happens. So I know that I said that I mostly like the EMI, the mic um, emulation here, the console. Uh, I think with this one, I'm going to go with the SSL. And just as much drive as I'm giving it, I'm going to pull it back down.
So it's just kind of um, shaping up a little bit there. I want to be able to hear that entire kind of kit that it's simulating. And moving on. So you can tell like how fuller it sounds with just a couple of EQs there uh, before. It kind of reminded me a little bit of like hitting a flat tire, just pluh, pluh, pluh. So I've got all uh, three of these kind of main tracks going with a high pass filter and that's because I want this bass track to 
kind of take up that really low, low end. And we'll see if that works. thing I did forget to do here that I really want to is put all of these in natural phase. Because I think that it does sound better. I think it already sounds kind of splashy. So let's see if we can bring up some of the kind of roundness of the snare. in there. Maybe we add a little more snap to it. Kind of like the tone of the 1.6 here, other than the 3.2, but I think I think they're both fine. I think that's a little bit more of what you prefer um, in this situation. We'll listen to it one more time. I like the 3.2. I'm going to leave it at the 1.6 for now, and that may be something that the more things that we start to bring in, that it needs to stick out a little bit more, and we'll bump it up to the 3.2 there. But we'll keep it at 1.6 for right now. Turn that up a little bit. I like it. Maybe even a little bit. 
bit more. So that little effect right there, the uh, bass sub drop, really want to feel that one. So what can we do? Let's see. We could just raise it up a little bit. something. So I think it's time to add some parallels into the equation here. Since there's no sort of hi-hat sounds, I think I'm just going to send all three of these to both drum bus, drum crush, and That'll be it for now. Okay, so we're just checking. So we've got our outputs going to our stereo bus, drum bus, and our drum crush bus, which are parallels. And those have already been calibrated down here. And go ahead and solo save those, see what that sounds like.
just want to say about 40 B's worth of compression here on the 33609. And I think that's gonna do well right now. Let me check the facts over here. This is without. And with the parallels. Now, I'm going to move these uh, keys over to our music parallel. So we're going to go out of our stereo bus and also our music bus. So let's check those. Bus, bus, bus. Alright. And we're going to Look to see the same thing here with the 33609. So around 4 dBs of compression there.
so I think that's a pretty good start to our kind of foundation, um, our bedrock of this song uh, with the drums or bass and our um, main keys. And just to kind of recap and talk about what I was doing here, I just wanted to go over um, kind of on repeat that one or a couple of sections in the song that all of these, the drums, bass, and our kind of main keys, um, that they were all kind of going together and work on that, you know, that foundation of the song. And on the loop here, I just wanted to emphasize some of the lower ends there, because uh, a lot of the mid and higher things were pretty good levels. And kind of the same thing with the kick here. Um, I just like to use the Pro-Q3 anytime I'm using the filters. I think it sounds really good, especially in natural phase. And then I just really like using this on kick drums. It's already set to 60. And if you really needed some more lows, 35, and just boosting some of, some of that. I like the way that this uh, Neve kind of has a darker tone to it. And also using it on the snare, I I thought that it was already pretty good and poking through in the mids, and so I just wanted to bring back some of the body there. This is my favorite plugin to do just that. And then to balance that out, uh, kind of go through the um, 1.6 here in the uh, 3.2 to bring a little bit more of that snap back into it. This is my go-to plugin for that as well. I don't like to do those kind of moves with uh, plugins like the uh, Pro-Q3 here. Uh, I feel like once you start using something like this and um, using your own shape and cue that you tend to get a little in too involved with making those choices and it can sometimes lead to things sounding really thin. So that's why I like to use plugins like the uh, Legacy 1073 here, where it's built in queue and it's already, um, you know, the uh, frequencies are, are already given for you and you don't have to worry about, um, you know, looking at the frequency spectrum there with this, with the Neve, you're using your ears. Again, uh, just using the filters here just to get some of that really low, low out of the way, just to tighten it up just a little bit so that it can go into the uh, DVX-160 here. Just giving it a little bit more, you know, bass sound. Uh, that's what these are good for. And not compressing it too too hard there. Um, just kind of... of um, keeping everything consistent and with the bass synth I'm just boosting up that really low end to really um, emphasize that change in the song and then for our keys here not doing a whole lot uh, just some filtering and a little bump at the top of that filter I just think it sounds a little more natural uh, to not just completely cut off the low end there same here just slightly and on this um, kind of throbbing this kind of pulse uh, keyboard sound I wanted to control that but also have that pumping um, still there so when it's not when it's coming in it's hitting and then when it um, goes back down it releases so just using those uh, the other ones I thought just sounded pretty good didn't think I needed to EQ anything, especially because I was bringing them out in our parallel uh, music bus here using the 33609 with a standard mix template setting that I always have. And I've got the same same exact setting for the drum bus. And then um, our drums are also going to the drum crush as well. Just uh, using the fat so here. But anyways, I think that's a good place to stop for now. And then we'll pick everything back up with our kind of orchestra section in the middle here and uh, continue mixing this song or how I like to mix um, a song like this 
your more um, cinematic type of song. Um, I don't know if it's really, I guess it's pop too. But anyways, uh, make sure you are subscribed so that you will be able to catch when uh, episode three comes out and we will continue to finish this mix. All right. Thanks for watching, y'all.